In this video, we will see how to analyze transactions and prepare income statement, owner's equity statement, and the balance sheet. Every transaction is recorded only if they are in the nature of a business transaction. Under the double entry system, every business transaction will affect at least two accounts. Every internal and external transaction of a business affects the accounting equation. The accounting equation represents the relationship between assets, liabilities, and owner's equity of a business. The basic accounting equation shows that the assets of a business must equal the liabilities plus owner's equity. Let's look at the categories in the basic accounting equation. Assets are the resources of a business. Assets have a normal debit balance, increase with a debit, and decrease with a credit. Liabilities are the legal debts or claims of a business against its assets. Liabilities have a normal credit balance, increase with a credit, and decrease with a debit. Owner's equity is the ownership claim on the total assets of a business. It is equal to total assets minus total liabilities. It has a normal credit balance, increases with a credit, and decreases with a debit. In a business, owner's investments and revenues increase owner's equity. Both owner's capital and revenue have a normal credit balance. On the other hand, owner's drawings and expenses decrease owner's equity. Both owner's drawings and expenses have a normal debit balance. This is called the expanded accounting equation. Financial statements are comprised of an income statement, an owner's equity statement, a balance sheet, and a statement of cash flows. An income statement presents the revenues and expenses and resulting net income or net loss for a specific period of time. An owner's equity statement summarizes the changes in owner's equity for a specific period of time. A balance sheet is prepared to know the financial position of a company. It reports the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity of a company at a particular date. A statement of cash flows summarizes information about the cash inflows or receipts and outflows or payments for a specific period of time. Let's look at an illustration to understand how we analyze transactions and prepare financial statements. Transactions that occurred in Eric Company during the month of August are given along with the beginning balance details of certain accounts. Using this data, we will prepare a tabular analysis of the August transactions. We will also prepare an income statement for August, an owner's equity statement for August, and a balance sheet at August 31st. Let's first record the beginning balances of all accounts. The beginning balance of cash is $5,300, accounts receivable is $1,400, supplies is $900, equipment is $5,000, accounts payable is $4,500, and owner's capital is $8,100. In the first transaction, the company collected $1,100 from accounts receivable. This transaction increases cash and decreases accounts receivable by $1,100. After the transaction, cash increases to $6,400 and accounts receivable decreases to $300. The balances and other accounts remain the same. In the second transaction, the company paid $2,500 on accounts payable. This transaction decreases cash and accounts payable by $2,500. After this transaction, cash has decreased to $3,900 and accounts payable has decreased to $2,000. The balances in all other accounts remain the same. In the third transaction, the company earned revenue of $7,000, of which only $3,900 was collected in cash, and the balance was due in September. In this case, there is an increase in cash by $3,900 and in accounts receivable by $3,100. Thus, it increases assets by $7,000. Correspondingly, there is an increase in revenue by $7,000, which in turn increases the owner's equity. After recording this transaction, cash and accounts receivable have increased to $7,800 and $3,400, respectively. It has also increased revenues to $7,000.
there is no change in the balances of other accounts. In the fourth transaction, the company purchased additional equipment for $2,600 for which only $800 was paid in cash and the rest was on account. This transaction increases equipment by $2,600 and decreases cash by $800. Correspondingly, it increases accounts payable, a liability, by $1,800. The debits and credits are equal. After the transaction, cash has decreased to $7,000, equipment has increased to $7,600, and accounts payable has increased to $3,800. There are no changes in other accounts. In the fifth transaction, the company paid salaries of $2,150, rent for August of $1,100, and advertising expenses of $200. The total expenses incurred were $3,450, of which salaries were $2,150, rent was $1,100, and advertising was $200. This decreases cash by $3,450, and correspondingly increases expenses by $3,450. After this transaction, Cash has decreased to $3,550, and expenses have increased to $3,450. Note that a negative amount under the expense column does not mean a decrease in expense. Instead, it represents the effect of the transaction on owner's equity. Therefore, it means that any increase in expenses will decrease the owner's equity. The balances in other accounts remain the same. In the sixth transaction, Eric withdrew $1,250 for personal use. It reduces cash by $1,250 and increases owner's drawings by the same amount. Note that owner's drawings are a disinvestment, which reduces owner's equity. After recording the withdrawal, cash decreases to $2,300 and owner's drawings increases to $1,250. Note that a negative amount under the Owner's Drawings column represents the effect of the transaction on owner's equity. There are no changes in the balances of other accounts. In the seventh transaction, Eric received $2,500 on a note payable from Standard Federal Bank. As cash is coming into the business, cash increases by $2,500, which in turn increases assets. As money is borrowed on a note payable, note payable, a liability account increases by $2,500. After this transaction, cash increases to $4,800 and notes payable increases to $2,500. The balances in all other accounts remain the same. In the final transaction, the company incurred utilities expense for $310, which is on account. In this case, accounts payable, a liability account, and expenses increase by $310. After recording this transaction, accounts payable and expenses increase to $4,110 and $3,760 respectively. The balances in all other accounts remain the same. After giving effect to all the transactions, the accounting equation is in balance. Next, we prepare the income statement for August. In the income statement, we first list the revenues. During August, the company recognized service revenue of $7,000. There are no other revenues in the specified period. Next, we list expenses. It includes salaries and wages expense of $2,150, rent expense of $1,100, advertising expenses of $200, and utilities expenses of $310. The total expenses amounts to $3,760. By deducting $3,760 from $7,000, we compute the net income as $3,240. Now, let's prepare the owner's equity statement to compute the closing balance owner's equity. The beginning balance of the owner's equity is $8,100. To this, we add the net income of $3,240, which gives a balance of $11,340. From this, we deduct the owner's drawings of $1,250, as it is a disinvestment and reduces the owner's equity. 
By deducting $1,250 from $11,340, we arrive at the ending owner's capital of $10,090. Finally, we prepare the balance sheet at August 31st. Let's first record the assets section. Under assets, we have cash of $4,800, accounts receivable of $3,400, supplies of $900, and equipment of $7,600. Total asset amounts to $16,700. Next, we list the liabilities in Owner's Equity section. The liabilities for Eric are notes payable of $2,500 and accounts payable of $4,110. Total liabilities equal $6,610. Owner's Equity has Owner's Capital of $10,090. Note that it is transferred from the owner's equity statement. By adding $6,610 and $10,090, we arrive at total liabilities and owner's equity of $16,700. As a final check, we notice that total assets equal the sum of total liabilities and owner's equity.